Hi, this is my first video ever talking to the camera, so this is gonna be great. I'm really excited. I'm gonna hate myself. With this video, I wanna do a sketchbook tour, which I've never done, but I love watching other people's sketchbook tours, so let's see what I got in here. Sorry, I'm embarrassing. So most of it's in 2016 with a little hint of 2011 right at the beginning. Let's get started. <laughs> it starts off in 2011. I did not use this during college, really. I think I switched to another sketchbook, but I lost it. I think I lost it. A lot of my sketchbook, I stick random stuff in that I draw, so this is newer and this is older. Lots of cats, lots of random girls. These are some sketches I did with a friend, just like random doodle pages. I'm not super great at commentary, if you can't tell already. Just be, be prepared. This is newer. This is old. This is new. Good stuff. Cat doodles. I'm all about the cat doodles. This is old and this is newer. I don't know if you can see this, but I got these cute little stickers at this international market of cats and oranges, and they're the best. Some old stuff, random envelope, you know, everything everyone else has in their sketchbook. Things start to get newer here. Also, side note, I love cat paws. I spent a lot of the sketchbook practicing faces because I avoided drawing faces and people forever. Just bear with me, it's gonna be fine. I like to use vintage pictures as references just because I think they're hair school. Flowers. Some squirrels. This is in Copic markers and Fentel brush pen. Some colored pencils. This is from like high school. The best. You can probably hear my bird randomly screaming in the background. This is him. His name's Hercules. This is him in pink, but he's actually blue. This is one of my favorite spreads in the sketchbook. This is Susan Hayward. Some hand practice. I always am like, oh, I'm gonna practice drawing hands and I'm gonna get better. And afterwards I'm like, yeah, I think I learned something and then I don't draw hands for like two months and I forget everything I learned. More cat doodles. This paper, it's actually not that great. This is when Pokemon Go came out. So I had to do a Pokemon spread because they're so cute. Look at Oddish. And Crying Pikachu. Little Ivysaur. This is me pretending I know how to draw faces just for my mind, and I don't. <laughs> this is my sister, all in pink. This is like the beginning of my pink obsession. A little ink doodle for Halloween, there's a cat. Well, this was fun, I like the colors I used. This is Hercules in his true colors, kind of. He's a little brighter than this. But I like this illustration. This is done in gouache. These are Copic little doodles. Probably covered up something ugly with this purple paint. Here's some face practice with Audrey Hepburn. These were fun. I like to stick movie tickets in my sketchbook because I always forget what movies I saw. Oh, uh, we got ourselves a little cat here. Bunny. I was all about this bunny when I did it. I was like, this is the best bunny I've ever drawn, but it's all right, I guess. I'm not hating on it, but I don't love it anymore. And then I'm like, oh. I'm gonna practice figure drawing. These are copies from Pinterest. And then I tried to do it by myself over here, and I didn't. Doodles, succulents. I got this marker paper, and I didn't like it. This is more of me thinking I can make up faces, not this one. I don't have a reference, but what am I doing? Uh, more faces. You guys bored of this yet? At least this one I kind of painted. My favorite thing to do is stick sticky notes on drawings. I hate, ew. <laughs> Pink. Uh, this is Simply Kenna. I used a lot of her photos for reference. She has the cutest Instagram and YouTube videos. Cat's doodles, paws. Tell you, I'm obsessed with cat paws, especially white and pink ones. I was gonna fill this whole page with this color of little Miyazaki doodle, but I haven't done that. And I've left it blank, thinking I'm gonna do it, and you know, I probably won't. This is gouache. My mom gave me her old set of gouache, which I love. So cute. I can't stand it, but some of them are kind of straight up dried up, so the colors that aren't are like these two. More gouache. I liked how this one turned out. This is Brixton the Frenchie. They have a great Instagram and post such great stories of them walking around on the beach.
This is Prince Corey, I think his Instagram name is. But here we go with the pink. I like this one too. This is screenshots I took from Beyond the Boundary. I love the crying, sad faces. As you saw, I did draw that sad Pikachu. They just hit me hard, you know? Jigglypuff spread. Look at her. Look at her. Zoom. Look at her. This is when the new Harry Potter book came out, which I have not read yet. I want to do a tour of my high school sketchbook because it would be funny. I like to look at it when I feel like I can't draw because I can see how much better I got. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I like to do it anyways. So I saw Suicide Squad. As you can see, I had the gouache, the red, and the blue, and that's it. But I like this one. Cute, cute. Naruto, because I love him. I love him. He's cute. Here's some doodles of Sydney, okay? She's from Vine. She's funny as heck. I was in a kind of a bleh state right here. Some Halloween stuff. I loved doing little Halloween doodles this year. Just, there's a cat, but that's supposed to be a bubble. That's like a blueberry stain. Ew. This is cute. some extra paint. I can't stand when I squeeze too much paint out and I don't use it all. So this this kind of thing happens. Here's a reference of my sister for this, which doesn't really look like her. It's my dog. His name's Coda. Call him Toad. He has his own Instagram. My bird does too. So I'm that kind of girl. A little baby bat. I think my sister's only paint one. But not as cute as a real baby bat, which was very sad. My friend Suze sent me this photo of this cat. He actually had this hat on in this box. It was like pudging over this. I just, it's the best, the best photo I ever saw. Like, look, we gotta do a turn back to see this. This is Holly Hanlon. He's from Vine. Kinda stalkerish. Kinda fine though. So whatever. Failures of self-portraits, which I had to save because I liked this hair. But generally, I hate the rest of it. Gotta keep it though. You gotta keep those ugly ones. Ugly. Keep it. <laughs> this isn't that bad, I guess. I did time lapse of this one. Meh. 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 This summer I went to my friend Dez's houseboat and I drew these houseboats. It was fun. I don't really draw outside enough, so that was nice. Uh, you know, Halloween stuff, mermaid, cat. This is my friend Sue's, which is the most disappointing drawing of a friend I've ever made. So let's just go. Let's just leave that. So my camera cut off, so I'm just gonna recap what I was saying. I finished the whole video. But uh, you guys didn't see it, so just redo. It'll be great. I think I was talking about the Halloween party I went to, but so I went to this Halloween party. With my sister and her boyfriend Josh, who are my best friends. I was like, cool, a Halloween party. I never really go to Halloween parties. I had no idea it was gonna be like this. We show up at this old house, and these women set up these actual haunted houses in this barn in like a haunted house through the woods. Not a house, but like a trail. With the, all these like animatronic dudes screaming at you and strobe lights and noises. It was the best night ever. Anyways, back to my sketchbook tour. This is my friend Suze, who I drew before, and she hates that this photo is in here, but I love it, and I'm never gonna take it out. Cats. I can only draw cats, shh, it's secret. I just told you guys, so this is one of my October days, which was really great. It was a great project. Doing an ink drawing every day for a month, which I never really used ink that seriously. I learned a lot about ink and it kind of sparked me doing my 365 in 2017 where I'm drawing every day for a year, just personal work. This, these are my boys from my favorite anime. Great guys, great anime, thanks. Anyways, this is gross. This is Michelle Mo. There she is again. Uh, anyways, what I was saying about my 365, I definitely, this is actually me planning it out, which I've never looked back on, so go me. I draw and paint every day because I do custom pet 
and home portraits on Etsy, so I'm always doing those, but I wasn't really making time to do my own stuff, so I decided to do personal things every day, which has been going really great. This was actually my first day doing it. And then this, I wanna do a really cute New Year's cat confetti party illustration, but it's gross. But I redid it and did this one, which I like a lot better. He's kinda sassy, so I'm feeling pretty good about 2017. I liked this a lot when I did it, but I, I don't really think I like it at all now. So moving on. Now flowers. These are the red pandas from the Cincinnati Zoo. They posted the cutest Snapchat story of them playing in the snow. So I had to draw them because they're so cute. This is one of my like night doodles. Yeah, my friend wrote over here, you're almost there. OMG, I'm guessing you'll be at this page on 8-24-2012. No, I was here on January 6, 2017. Five years off, but pretty close. So it kind of goes downhill from here. These pages are kind of cute. This, this is a pangolin. Some figures, some more figures. And then it's over. That's it. I don't think I've ever talked this much in my whole life. Thanks for sticking around if you're still here. That's nuts, because that was long, longer than I ever thought it would be. Like, comment, subscribe. That's my favorite thing to say ever as a joke, and now I'm saying it for real. So, good day. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. Hee I don't know how to sign up, so I'm just gonna say bye. Bye.